got a package for you. 90 minutes, premium rush. Hey! That envelope you picked up, I gotta ask for it back. Who are you? Not your problem. Yeah, the thing is, once it goes in the bag, it's gotta stay in the bag. You got a name? Family? People who care if they see you again? Who are you, man? Three pieces of advice for anybody looking to ride their bike in New York City. What would they be? Oh, God, be present. Yeah, pay attention. Very <laughs> focused. Yeah. For mm. sure. Don't, you I, can't listen to earphones. I see people doing that sometimes. They're like listening to music while they're on a bike. It's really dangerous. dangerous. You have to be listening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I heard that Joe had a tough accident on set. Did you have anything happen that was kind of I bad? I felt all the time. I didn't have one dramatic big accident, but I definitely fell off my bike a lot. I, I actually, one of the, one of the takes, which is actually, I don't think even on in the movie, <laughs> I had to jump off my bike and let the bike sort of crash on its own. And the first take I did, it, it was great. I was really committed, but I jumped off and I twisted my ankle. I mean, I just fell every single time. Every single time I tried to do a stunt. <laughs> jo Joe, we've seen you a lot in supporting roles over the years, but this is one, one of the first times I've seen you as a leading man in every shot of the movie, basically. Tell me what it was about the world of, of bike messengers and this character that had you so excited to do this. Uh, well, I just finished doing 50-50, um, which is, I guess, kind of... Oh, thanks, darling. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and, uh, you know, in 50-50, I was playing a guy that was fighting cancer. And so to directly following that, do a movie with someone who's so healthy and so kind of in his body and um, strong, uh, I think I needed that. Great time. Um, because this is for Russell Simmons, who's been at the forefront of the Occupy movement since it started. <laughs> I know you've been down there a lot. How do you see the movement coming back into the conversation come election year? Well, you know, I mean, everyone talks about the 99%. I mean, I, I think... To me, that's the phrase I take even more than, than Occupy. Occupy was about this thing that was happening in Zuccotti Park that year. Um, but the concept of the 99% and the 1%, I think, is something that's really timeless. You can go back to anywhere in history, and people are always talking about how, you know, the rich try to stay richer. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I mean, I'm, I'm no expert, and I won't claim to make any sort of authoritative statements about the way that works in politics. but. I'm glad people are still talking about it. Well, I appreciate your passion for it, and I appreciate you guys in this movie. So